love the high priestess. Are you kidding me? Intuition on point, spirituality, ascension. Um, it is, yes, between the dark and the light, but it has the purpose of learning, uh, discovering. And the eight of wands, we've been stuck, we've been stuck, and we took the spiritual way out. I love this. I absolutely love this. High Priestess and the Hangman. Now we changed our perspective and we ascend because of it. We align because of it. We know better. Our intuition and our knowledge and past lessons are all aligned. And then you show up in reverse. Yeah, because it's a journey. It takes time. And it takes method, right? That's the Emperor. Method and structure. But we are going there. <coughs> Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Might be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn you are dealing with. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm losing my voice here. And the King of Pentacles again. Well, not again, it says a Pentacles, a, a North Sorry, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and they show up here. Might also speak of you being a little bit unstable at this time and questioning. And the Queen of Cups in reverse. A bit emotional and a bit insecure because of what happened so let's see what this is all about as always bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time the most important one the one coming your way and here comes the knight of pentacles in reverse again Taurus for god a capricorn five of wands in reverse <coughs> five of pentacles and the world we just love this and your higher self <laughs> King of Wands, a little bit in reverse, yeah. But it is, um, hang on, it's over. Um, five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, I know. Changes and challenges at this time that we are trying to overcome. But we have the world. Energy is shifting in your favor. This is all about happy ending. So if you had a fight with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, it is coming to an end and we'll find the way out. Um, we will bury, bury the hatchet, right? I believe that. And look at this. Really wanted to come out as the overall energy high priestess. Ascension, higher self, knowledge, intuition, you name it. It's all yours. <clears throat> Honestly, it's kind of like the universe saying, well, you've been through an argument with this person. Every, everything is stuck. There was rejection. No communication, but you can put an end to it. And this is all yours, your intuition and your knowledge, right? <coughs> so past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have some current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you. The person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck six of cups and ten of pentacles love and stability here love and stability Aries you are in good hands so let's see what's going on in the past <laughs> oh, high priestess in reverse honest to god there is something it can be a Pisces cancer um, energy but I really feel um, Aries that we are not aligned in the past <clears throat> sorry i'm really losing my voice today um i mean it's not by mistake that really she really wanted to come out the high priestess so many times we had it all through shuffling wanted to come out with the bottom of the deck and now right in the past it is in reverse combined with the queen of wands which is your energy <clears throat> so we are not um aligned we are not listening to our intuition there was something that was hidden from us there was an overwhelming position between the dark and the light where we were not seeing what is going on. Maybe the love, maybe the stability, maybe the need to end something. Somebody really rejecting us and keeping us unstable. There was something that was not um, visible to you. And here comes the uh, pentacles again. Page of pentacles in reverse and the justice in reverse. So all they had to offer was an unfair and unbalanced offer. Um, Page of Pentacles in reverse speaks of, um, you know, something that it's not solid, we cannot invest on, um, considering it, and the justice in reverse, it was fully blown, out of balance, <coughs> uh, unreliable. That's a word I um, 
I was looking for and it, it was near and it was like, okay, what is, um, and, um, and Libra energy might have been a Libra, but I don't feel, I simply feel that you've been in a situation where somebody was not giving their best. And somehow you are not aligned to see it. You are not. Maybe you wanted so much love and stability. We have the Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You were longing for something that uh, felt stable financially and also a, a, a particular body, mind, and soul um, bond with someone. But it didn't work out. King of Cups upright and the Page of Wands in reverse. I'm pretty sure King of uh, Cups is your energy, full of love, mature love, wanting to go the distance with this person and they showed up with Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Unprepared, um, not uh, ready for this, I would say. Um, you know, kind of a reckless passion, Page of Wands, right? And Page of Pentacles, definitely not unstable, was there for the flame. And um, different vibration, right? Different vibration. So what are we right now? It looks like we are a little bit lost, Aries. We do have the star in reverse and the emperor in reverse. I'm pretty sure we need a little bit of organization. We need a plan. Uh, we may not have one right now because we don't know which way to go. The star in reverse is again not being aligned. Um, this is all about wish fulfillment. This is all about healing and alignment. And I feel with the emperor in reverse that we don't have a plan for the future. Maybe this caught you by surprise. Uh, maybe we still love this person secretly. We have feelings and we are a little bit stuck in this. But um, dealing with the sense of conflict and rejection. Uh, that will be over soon. We do have the world, so you better prepare because it's going to be your happy ending and not theirs. And of course, we still love them. Six of Cups, reminiscent, still wanting, still longing, but the universe is saying you need a plan. The Emperor is in reverse. You are the Emperor, right? Now, this person of yours, Seven of Swords, upright, and the Tower in reverse, cheating, lying, deceiving, and avoiding disasters with you or in general in their life. It feels like a disaster, a disastrous behavior they have, right? Of ruining something by low vibrational energies here with the Seven of Swords. Mutual energies between the two of you are you kidding me, it's just like the overall energy. It is just like the overall energy. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So the overall energy is like the core of the reading. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Challenges, changes, rejection, conflict, internal struggle. This is not good. <laughs> oh, this is so not good. Um, it is so not good. I don't know if they are in fighting mode, by the way. It looks more like an avoidance, deceiving type of way because they avoid disasters, but Seven of Swords, they continue to be low vibration, to not be honest about, to slide, right, when it comes to telling, the, um, to telling the truth, and keeps you, this kind of behavior keeps you confused in some way, right? So no, they are deceiving. Well, the outcome of this, happiness comes from letting go. Nine of Cups with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Let's start, um, you know, um, Let's fight the good fight. This one is not a good fight, uh, Aries. And your happiness and peace of mind will come from releasing. This is what's coming your way. Want it or not, you'll, ha you'll stop fighting this because it's not something that you deserve. Or in your energy. Now, this person of yours, uh, they want to apologize for your unhappiness, right? A page of Cups with a Ten of Cups in reverse. Uh, the energy coming your their way, definitely unhappy with the current situation and wanting to say, Aries, I am so sorry. Page of Cups, we know it's about apologies and behaving a little bit like a kid. Mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the Moon upright and the Queen of Swords in reverse. An unfair silence, right? The Moon, still emotion, still fear, still darkness, still confusion. And the Queen of Swords, it has this intentional energy. Swords in reverse, they are meant to cut, right? I want to keep them up in the air. It's, um, you know, opening up, you know, the sky and the horizon. Every time we have a sword in reverse, it has the purpose to cut, to insult, um, you know, to, to cause damage and reactions and behaviors. So 
um, so like so destructive behavior this person has and they might be aware from time to time with a page of cups please forgive me uh, but they keep doing it right so the situation right now i don't think it belongs to you it's simply their energy of disruption and um and it will be over and the minute with the world and the ten of uh, the ten of pentacles the minute is over you are going to have high priestess alignment ten of pentacles stability six of cups right harmony in love um so let's ask for some guidance, or, but we already know, don't we, um, Aries? So no, they are a disaster. We do have maturity, so somebody here needs to be a little bit mature about. I, I kind of here step back, analyze this, um, you know, go back and draw some lessons from, the, uh, from past experiences. We do have sexual freedom, Aries. You, we need to break free from this. Whatever, whatever you know, connection we had with this person and it felt good is like, no, thank you. We are more mature than this. It's interesting, sexual freedom and sexuality and maturity. Somebody really needs to be very mature about their sexual life, um, Aries. I don't know exactly what type of connection you have with this person what this means and we do have divine feminine sexuality divine feminine and sexual freedom bottom of the deck like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving wow you have sex sexual freedom and sexuality in the same guidance i'm just saying i don't i know you know the sex drive can be um you know a little bit different at this time but somebody here is pretty guided to look into it with maturity and from a place of divine feminine and like attracts like if you feel you are not in a connection with um, someone right and they don't fit whatever they need to fit well right now it's the time to do something about it Maybe this connection was more sexual than anything else and now it's let's be mature and let's move towards a place of divinity and um, ascension with the divine feminine. So Aries energies we need to put back into the flow. We do have imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Relationships. We do have sexual freedom and relationships. So if you have like a sexual connection with this person i don't believe you are guided to break free and the universe is saying i'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good um so the message we need to hear today right not every connection is a good connection doesn't mean it serves your higher purpose we do have surrendered to the beauty of the natural world Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. We do have joy, the divine feminine and joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. And bottom of the deck, surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So Aries, this person, whoever you are dealing with, and they might very well be your soulmate, we do have the Six of Cups, their behavior is simply reckless and we do not have to follow um, suit, you know? Um, I mean, maybe I'm going to name this video Run because it's, uh, the universe is asking you to be mature and uh, maybe disconnect. Somebody was using you for sex. Maybe you uh, only had that type of relationship with this person. That's how you bond. That's how you have them in your energy. That's how they have you in their in theirs. But we only take relationships that serve my higher good, um, Aries, and bring us joy and divine, right? Divine feminine and divine feminine energy, maturity and sexual freedom. So, Aries. This is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.